Agatha Christie was a renowned British author known for her detective novels and short stories. She was born on September 15, 1890, in Torquay, Devon, England, and died on January 12, 1976. Christie is often referred to as the Queen of Mystery or the Queen of Crime because of her prolific output of mystery novels and her lasting impact on the genre. Some of her most famous works include And Then There Were None is a classic mystery novel by Agatha Christie, first published in 1939. The story is often considered one of Christie's best works and is a masterpiece of the genre. The novel begins by introducing ten seemingly unrelated individuals who have been invited to Soldier Island, a remote and isolated area off the coast of Devon, England. Each guest receives an invitation from various sources, such as old friends or job offers, but the common denominator is that none of them knows his or her host or hostess. Upon arrival at the island, guests are greeted by the butler and cook, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. They soon discover that the host they were expecting to meet is absent. As the evening progresses, a mysterious recording accuses each guest of responsibility for someone else's death with specific details of the crimes they allegedly committed. Shocked and confused, the guests try to make sense of the accusations, but it becomes clear that their past actions are catching up with them. Guests begin to die one by one under mysterious circumstances, mirroring the death of the ten little soldiers' statues displayed in the house. Tension and paranoia mount among the remaining guests when they realize there is a killer among them and they have no way to leave the island, which has been cut off from the mainland by a storm. As the body count rises and trust erodes, the survivors desperately try to uncover the identity of the killer and the motive behind these murders. Accusations and suspicions fly, and secrets from each guest's past are revealed. The area children's song associated with the statues becomes a haunting countdown, foreshadowing each guest's fate. Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None is a witty and suspenseful mystery that keeps readers on the edge of their seats. The novel masterfully weaves together elements of psychological suspense, classic crime, and complex character development. The plot is a relentless mystery, and the revelation of the killer's identity is a stunning twist that has left readers and critics awestruck for generations. Christie's skill in crafting a locked room mystery in which the characters are trapped with a killer and the tension steadily escalates is a testament to her storytelling prowess. The novel's exploration of guilt, justice, and the consequences of one's actions adds depth to the narrative, making it not only a thrilling mystery, but also a thought-provoking morality tale. And Then There Were None has become a timeless classic in the mystery genre and is a must-read for anyone who enjoys the complex and engaging mysteries of a novel. The characters in the novel are richly developed, each with their own secrets and guilt-ridden past. Agatha Christie masterfully delves into their psyches, making readers question the moral ambiguity of their actions and the consequences they face on the desolate island. The sense of dread and paranoia intensifies as the characters grapple with their pasts and realize that someone among them is orchestrating their demise. As the story progresses, the novel offers a fascinating exploration of the theme of justice. Each of the ten guests has somehow evaded the law or avoided punishment for their crimes, real or perceived. The concept of poetic justice becomes central to the plot, as the killer appears to exact revenge on behalf of the victims. This moral dilemma adds complexity to the story and keeps readers engaged as they consider the blurred lines between right and wrong. Christie's use of the nursery rhyme, Ten Little Soldiers, is a nice touch, as it serves as both a structuring device and a psychological torment. With each death, one of the statues is removed, reflecting the horrific development of the murders. The rhyme, which sounds like an innocent and playful children's song, takes on a sinister and foreboding tone as the story develops. The novel's setting on Soldier Island, isolated from the mainland, contributes to the feeling of claustrophobia and impending doom. The stormy weather and the characters being trapped intensify the suspense and create an eerie atmosphere throughout the narrative. And Then There Were None is not only a compelling mystery, 
It is also a commentary on the consequences of one's actions and the price of moral reckoning. Agatha Christie's ingenious plot and her ability to mislead the reader's doubts make this novel a true masterpiece of the genre. The novel has had a profound impact on the mystery and thriller genres and has been adapted into numerous films, television series and theatrical productions over the years. The book remains a timeless classic that continues to captivate and inspire readers to this day, making it a must-read for anyone interested in the art of suspenseful storytelling. Agatha Christie excels at creating a diverse cast of characters, each with a carefully constructed backstory and hidden guilt. Their past misdeeds, ranging from manslaughter to negligence, are slowly revealed, inviting readers to judge the moral ambiguity of their actions. This complex characterization adds depth to the story as the characters grapple with their consciences and past choices in the face of impending doom. The novel explores the theme of justice and the moral consequences of one's actions. Each character's crimes, whether legally punishable or not, have caused suffering and tragedy. The killer who remains hidden among them becomes the instrument of retribution, raising thought-provoking questions about the nature of justice and whether the punishment fits the crime. And Then There Were None is a masterclass in building psychological suspense. As characters are systematically killed, tension mounts, and the survivors become increasingly paranoid. The feeling of dread and isolation intensifies on the remote island, creating an atmosphere of deep anxiety that persists throughout the narrative. The novel is a quintessential example of a locked room mystery in which the characters are trapped on the island with a killer. There are no outside influences, and the killer's identity is a closely guarded secret. This classic setting adds to the intensity of the story, leaving readers with a feeling of claustrophobia and despair. Christie brilliantly used the children's song Ten Little Soldiers to organize the plot and psychologically torture the characters. With each murder, one of the ten statues representing the soldiers in the rhyme disappears. The rhyme, initially seen as innocent, takes on a sinister and foreboding quality as it portends deaths, further contributing to the novel's atmosphere of impending doom. The story's main theme of guilt and the consequences of one's actions is emphasized through the character's personal reckonings with their past. The sense of poetic justice and the idea that one's actions will catch up with them in the end create a deep moral undertone, making the reader think about the characters' fates and their sense of morality. And then there were none left an indelible mark on the mystery genre. It has been an inspiration to countless authors and filmmakers and remains a timeless classic in the genre. The novel's clever plot, subtle misdirections, and shocking ending continue to captivate and intrigue readers, making it a work of lasting literary significance. The bottom line is that And Then There Were None is a novel of remarkable depth, characterized by its complex characters, exploration of moral dilemmas, and its ability to create psychological suspense. Agatha Christie's storytelling prowess is on full display in this enduring masterpiece, and her influence on the mystery genre is undeniable. The novel's enduring popularity is a testament to its enduring importance and timeless appeal.